Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm very excited today to be sharing with you 20 places that we dined during our three-week stay in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This video is filmed January and February 2024. I have so much to share with you in this video, so let's get right into it. The first place we're going to visit is Rapone Brick Oven Italian Kitchen. It is located in North Myrtle Beach. It is open for dinner only from 4 to 9. This was the first night of our three-week trip, and it was a great find. It was very cozy and comfortable. I'm arranging these dining experiences from our first to last. We didn't have reservations, but they were able to seat us, and there was someone playing the piano when we arrived. We had a great dining experience. My husband ordered the chicken parmesan that came with the salad. It also came with a basket of bread. We also ordered a margarita pizza. If you're planning a trip to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, go grab a piece of paper and a pen and take some notes. I'm gonna be showing you a lot of great places to dine. You may wanna grab some snacks too. This video is going to make you hungry. We're off to a great start. It's the next day and now we're gonna check out Tupelo Honey Cafe, which is located in Myrtle Beach's outdoor Market Common Mall. Really cool place, you gotta go check this area out. Tupelo Honey is a chef-inspired Southern cafe and bar. They offer a happy hour and brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. We are here for the Sunday brunch and I did make a reservation. I'm so excited about our visit here. I meant to come here on our last trip here last year. This is the third video that I'm making of where we ate in Myrtle Beach. It just didn't make my last video. So many great places to dine in so little time. But nothing excites me more than a good brunch menu. I love this. I can't decide what to pick. If you would like to share your experience about this restaurant or any of the other dining experiences we had, please do so in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. Plus, share with me what I'm missing out on. Let me know in the comments below any restaurants you think I should add to my next video of where we ate next year. Hopefully, January and February. We'll come back for four weeks next year. Oh my gosh, this is making me so hungry. I absolutely love mine. It was like an Eggs Benedict on a biscuit with like a smashed avocado. It was delicious. My husband had a biscuit as well. The biscuits are fantastic. His had like fried chicken on it. Came hot in a cast iron skillet. I don't know. We love this. It was awesome. Another place that was recommended to me last year that we never made it to is Fiesta Mexicana. And here we are. I'm so excited. We did not have reservations, but it's midday during the week. It was actually a pretty nice day for January. We could have probably actually dined outside, but we're gonna go dine inside. The deco is so cool. It was a lunch menu that was very reasonably priced. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, can you do me a favor and hit that like button? The entrees came with complimentary chips and salsa. They also have a spicier, hotter sauce that you could request. We really love this place. Everything was perfect, including the service, the atmosphere, the food portions, and the food quality. It was authentic as you get. It was awesome. Fiesta Mexicana is open for lunch, dinner, and late night. They also have a happy hour and they host events such as karaoke. They have an open mic night and they even have a mariachi band on some nights. How fun is that? Now we're gonna go out for some crepes. Yes, you've been warned. We really like breakfast and lunch and brunch food. Come join us. We're gonna go check out Old Town Crepes. For those of you that don't know, crepes are like skinny, skinny pancakes that you stuff with either savory or sweet items. This menu was amazing. They had so many great ideas. I loved it. Sweet or savory, what's a girl to do? The only downfall here was the coffees were not refillable. You had to pay per coffee. I like to have like six cups of coffee when I'm dining out. I love when they leave the craft right on the table. But this breakfast made up for it. This was delicious. You could tell a lot of love and care went into plating this item. It was just perfectly picture worthy. It was awesome. I was afraid to eat it. I'm like, this is just gorgeous. We are not experts in French food and we have never been to Paris, but we have been to Paris and Las Vegas. I don't know if that counts or not. <laughs> Let's take a look into Kelly's crepe. Beautiful. We enjoyed our meal. It was awesome. Now I'm going to take you guys out for happy hour. I've been trying to get to Chuck's Steakhouse happy hour for three years. Kelly's like, let's go. There's already a line. This is seriously no joke. There is a line there at four o'clock. It's very, very popular. Aesthetically, this place is so awesome. It's like a big lodge. You would never know from the outside how cool it is inside. It has very large soaring ceilings, different rooms, different levels that you could dine on. It's spaced out so beautifully. There's a lot of natural light, fireplaces. I was just like, wow, this place was so unexpected. The happy hour is in the lounge 
in the bar only. It is not in the dining room. I wouldn't say the prices are cheap, but there is a very, very large selection. Some happy hours you go to, and it's a very limited selection. This was like its own menu, and it was very large. There was a lot to choose from. Another thing worth noting, which was really cool, was they had serve your own popcorn, nachos with cheese dip, and cheese and crackers. So if you wanted to just get a drink and you know get some snacks, you could do that too. As well as a very large, well-stocked salad bar that you could get a la carte, or you could add it to your meal for a really cheap price. I ended up just getting the onion soup. I just really wasn't that hungry. <laughs> and my husband ended up getting the steak tips, and it came with French fries. It was a really, really good deal, and he said the steak tips were done very well. And we're back to Market Common. This is our first time, the first year coming down to this area. There are really a lot of nice restaurants and breweries around here, and it's a really great place to go walk around. Today, we're gonna go check out Crepe Creation Cafe. Yes, I know, <laughs> more brunch items. This place is open breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they also have a happy hour. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful for your upcoming Myrtle Beach trip, can you do me a favor and please hit the subscribe button? It's totally free. It just helps out my channel. It tells YouTube that it, you know the video doesn't suck and that it's helpful. And if you want to see more videos like this, I will leave playlists at the end of this video. Just click on the playlist that you want to see and it'll take you right there of my previous trips to Myrtle Beach. I like to create these videos as sort of a visual catalog of my life. And you know, and if I could help out people make better plans about their upcoming trips and help Myrtle Beach restaurants along the way, it's a win-win for everyone. Thank you very much, Crepe Creation Cafe. We had a very lovely time. Now I'm gonna take you to a Latin cantina. Sol y Luna, I may be murdering that name. I'm not really sure. We are here for happy hour. This place is pretty small, but it is very cool. The size of the happy hour menu is very impressive. They also have daily specials as well. Pretty much if you want to like a good deal, this is a really good place to go. Here's a look at the happy hour that is available every day from four o'clock to seven. It is open for lunch and dinner and has $4 house margaritas all day long. Prices and hours are always subject to change, so always make sure that you call ahead if there's something specific you want, because what I'm saying now in 2024, well, it may look a heck of a lot different a couple years from now. Let's start off our Latin foodie adventure with some chips and some salsa and some homemade guacamole. Yum. We haven't been drinking too much alcohol lately, but you know, we decided to go crazy and wild and ordered a spicy strawberry margarita, because why not? It was a tough choice. It was a very colorful menu, but I ended up ordering the Peruvian steak bites, which I had no idea what it was gonna be like, and it was really tasty and interesting. Kelly ordered the chicken tacos. It was an awesome experience. I like to add too that a lot of the places that we experienced had a discount for paying cash, opposed to like paying extra for using your card. I don't know, I think that's kind of a cool concept. Now I'm gonna take you guys out for some Italian fare. We're gonna go check out Benito's, brick oven, pizza, and pasta. This place outside and inside was totally cute. I really love the decor. Benito's is open every day from 12 to nine and has lunch specials from 12 to four. Seriously, if you are a foodie, you're gonna love Myrtle Beach. There are so many amazing places to try. Where we were staying, we had a kitchen to bring our leftovers back to, so we decided to get two of the lunch specials and a pizza. The lunch specials come with bread and salad and our smaller portions of their dinner sized portions. We had ordered the margarita pizza, the lasagna, and the chicken parmesan, and all were enjoyable. Now I'm gonna share with you another breakfast. We're gonna look at the kitchen table in North Myrtle Beach. Another place we chose to try just by driving by because the place outside looks so cute. The kitchen table opens at 7.45 in the morning and is open till two. You can order breakfast all day, but lunch starts at 11. I love the soaring ceilings, the natural light, and the comfortable decor. In Middle Beach, there are so many different pancake houses and diners and breakfast spots. It's mind boggling. <laughs> we would have loved to gone to Drift or Blueberry Grill or croissants. We have been there before and made videos previously about those and love those places, but I'm trying to make new experiences and make a different video for you guys. I ordered the hash benedict and the red potatoes. I really loved mine. Kelly ordered the pancakes and we both had a really nice experience. The food was good and the server was super nice and the prices are very reasonable. Okay, I know I just talked about how I'm not gonna do any repeats, but this is the new Crave. This location is in North Myrtle Beach. It is located in the Aldi Shopping Center. We found it by accident while shopping for our groceries. 
Grave is open seven days a week. It is open for lunch and dinner Monday through Saturday and dinner only on Sunday. Grave has special discount lunch specials, which are really good. We had that last time. This time we're here at three o'clock, so we're just missing the lunch specials and happy hour. The happy hour is really good, but believe it's at the bar only and starts at 4 p.m. There are two bars here. One is inside and one is outside. We were so excited about the meatballs and ricotta that we started eating before I even took a picture. These are incredible. I love these meatballs. So good. We also ordered a salad and hold on to your hats. We ordered a margarita pizza. Hey, you know, you gotta try them everywhere because they're all different. We were staying at Wyndham Ocean Boulevard, which had full kitchens. So, you know, we allow ourselves maybe one meal out a day. And then we take the leftovers home and we eat it for our next meal. Sea Crave offers a cash discount too. I think that's pretty cool. Now let's go check out Nacho Hippo. Nacho Hippo, I'm just realizing, has two locations. This is the one that is in North Myrtle Beach. People have been telling me for years to go to Nacho Hippo, and this is my first time actually getting here. <laughs> it's never made my cut. We usually choose where to dine on a whim. We don't have any set plans. I check Facebook groups and I ask questions. I check TripAdvisor, and a lot of times we just drive by somewhere and say, that looks really cute, let's go. Nacho Hippo is probably the place to go in the summer with the outside dining. We're here in the winter, it's like 50 degrees. We're inside freezing. I had ordered a steak quesadilla, which really, really could have used a plate because it needed to be cut. It was served in like in a plastic chip basket. It was just a little difficult, but it was really good. My husband got a taco salad. But Nacho Hippo is definitely very cute and colorful. Now I'm going to share with you another drive-by experience. We were driving by and my husband's like, I really want to check that out. I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> We had tried Villa Romana last year and really enjoyed it, but we didn't want to do a repeat, so we're hoping to have a similar experience here. I instantly loved Romando's walking in. Love the atmosphere. This one all boils down to taste. You know, it's not going to be your trendy and chic type of Italian restaurant, but it was very traditional. I love the music. You know, they had a TV with like pictures of Italy you know it was just I don't know it kind of transported me into a, a different place the cocktails they served were very traditional as well and were displayed right on the table in front of you Romando's is open seven days a week from four to nine the menu had a great selection of steak veal chicken pasta and even pizza tempting but we did not get pizza this time <laughs> we ordered meals if you haven't already, can you please share with me your favorite Italian restaurants to go to in Myrtle Beach so we can go check it out next year and feature it in our next video. I thought the prices were very reasonable. Uh, I'm looking, I do not believe they have any kind of happy hour here. They are only open for dinner and it appears that the prices are always the same. We received a basket of bread before our meals. I absolutely love mine. This was the chicken Toscana. It also came with a side of pasta. Oh my gosh, I love that sauce. It was so good. My husband ordered the lasagna. That was fantastic. Really, really good food here. And then we had to get the tiramisu, because why not? This is a place I might have to accidentally repeat one day. Now I'm going to take you to Hot Stacks Pancake House. There are several of these in Myrtle Beach. This is a great place for those of you that like more of a diner feel. I wouldn't say the prices are particularly cheap, but they're more affordable than some of the other restaurants that I have showcased that are more progressive brunch type places. One thing I did love is the coffee on the table. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. <laughs> Big plus for me. I love it. I love to refill my coffee myself when it's cold. I had ordered, it was like eggs and vegetables stuffed in a crepe with hollandaise sauce. And it came with a side of hash. It was pretty good. And Kelly liked his. His was a, it was like French toast. Great place to come if you like a no-nonsense kind of menu and a no-nonsense kind of price. Now I'm going to take you to Broadway at the beach. We're going to go check out the Grumpy Monk. Has a very large menu, but we are here for happy hour, which is at the bar only. But it does have a very large restaurant as well as merch, has video games, and it also has outside dining. Though this may seem to be a beach destination because of the name, Broadway at the Beach is not on the beach, but it is an excellent place to see if you are in Myrtle Beach. I have a whole separate video about this whole destination. So that's the tour of Grumpy Monk. Let's check out the happy hour menu. Happy hour at Grumpy Monk is from four to six daily. 
There is also another Grumpy Monk location in North Myrtle Beach. We had ordered the potato kegs, also known as tater tots. They were really good. They gave us a side of hot sauce, homemade hot sauce, which really made them extra good. Oh my, okay, time to get really hungry here, guys. <laughs> I try in my videos not to favor or like say which one's the best or the worst because everybody has different tastes and likes something different. But honestly, I couldn't find anything wrong in this place. I really loved it. I thought it was flawless. Right away, things I always know Everything you could possibly want is at the table. They gave us water right away. Beautiful mugs. Silverware, beautiful. That silverware always knocks a point off for me. They offer mimosa flights and incredible cocktails. This is a place you want to hang out in like all day, or at least until they close. They're open from 7 to 2. This is not open for dinner. This is brunch only. They have indoor, outdoor seating and bars as well. I personally visit and film a lot in Las Vegas and other casino towns, so I love brunches. They're very popular over there, so I'm excited to see them here in Myrtle Beach. Oh man, this menu looks so good. I want to go to Mimosa's now. Coming up next, the three next videos I'll be working on are the three places that we stayed in Myrtle Beach. I'm going to be sharing full resort tours of two Wyndham properties that I stayed at, Sea Watch and Ocean Boulevard, as well as Sheridan Broadway at the beach. All three of the resorts are vacation ownership, timeshare type places. Um, that's how I travel so much. I own a timeshare, so I explain a lot of that throughout my videos. Those three videos will be coming up next if you're interested in seeing any of those properties. Now it's time for our yummy brunch. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. This was perfection. It was homemade corned beef hash, like an Eggs Benedict. It was just perfect. And Kelly, once again, went on the sweet side of things and he ordered, it was a croissant French toast. It was so good. It tasted almost like a Boston cream donut. It was so delicious. The prices were a little more expensive than some places, but we had a fabulous experience. Now let's go out for a Mexican happy hour. We're gonna go check out El Cerro. This is the location that is by Broadway at the beach. El Cerro has nine locations in the entire Myrtle Beach area. It is open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. Very cool decor, very high ceilings. You just feel like you're somewhere really special. The happy hour deals and menu are at the bar only. Oh, this whole place was so impressive with all the colorful lights. It was a little complicated to film though, I gotta be honest. It sort of reminded me of something you'd find in a casino like Las Vegas. Here's a look at the happy hour menu. It is every day from four to seven. I went wild and ordered a glass of wine. They gave us complimentary chips and salsa, but we did order the nachos too, which were really good. It was just a lot of chips. Now I'm going to take you out for hamburgers. We're going to go to River City Cafe, which has outside and inside dining, complimentary peanuts, and merchandise for sale. When I asked several sources where I could get the best hamburger in Myrtle Beach, this was highly recommended to me many times. There are many River City Cafe locations around the Myrtle Beach area. This is the one that is in Barefoot Landing. It had a very extremely blue light over our table, so our food might look a little bit blue. I gotta say though, everybody wasn't wrong. This, this food was really good. We had ordered the french fries, it had cheese and jalapenos on it. That was really good, but the winner for me was this burger. Mine had chili on it and coleslaw. It was so good. Also in Barefoot Landing, another place that we wanted to try was Lulu's. Like Nacho Hippo, this place was very colorful, very fun, and it's probably outstanding in the summer. It has a Margaritaville kind of vibe. It's a very huge place. It has live music, indoor and outdoor seating. They have outdoor activities. See, this is the best and worst thing about coming in the winter. Nothing's open, but yet nothing's busy. You could walk in anywhere and get served. We had to order the fried green tomato BLT and to order a hush puppies and coleslaw. Delicious. We were pretty full, but we purchased some dessert to take home <laughs> to enjoy later on at the resort. Now we are back at Broadway at the beach. We're gonna check out Extreme Pizza. They have a happy hour, but we're not here for happy hour. This is about 11 o'clock in the morning. Our original plan was to go check out the hangout. We never dined there before, but it didn't seem to be open. So we were walking around and I'm like, you know what? We haven't tried this place yet. Let's go try it. If you're still watching this video, first of all, I wanna thank you very much. These videos are very hard to do. They're a lot of work, but I really love to share my experience to help other people make better plans about their upcoming trips. 
You probably think I'm going to order the margarita pizza, but you know, we're going to surprise you. I ended up ordering the zip line knots. These were really good. They're kind of like pizza, but they're kind of rolled up, maybe like a stromboli. My husband got the meatball sub, which came with fries. Very positive experience. And sadly, it's our last day of our three-week trip to Myrtle Beach. Ah, <laughs> where are we going to go? I heard great things about souffles, so here we are. We're going to try it out for brunch. Souffles is open every day for breakfast and lunch only. One of their shining stars here is they have a mimosas and a Bloody Mary bar. Souffles is also dog-friendly on the outdoor patio. The menu is very creative and chef-inspired. Up next, our next adventure, we're going to be going to New Orleans. We're going to be going on a carnival cruise, carnival glory. So we're back in Connecticut, our home state, pretty much starving, trying to eat a little healthier before that next binge <laughs> of food starts. Now let's check out the food that we ordered at Souffles. Kelly got the bananas foster and we had the homemade corned beef hash. I ordered a ham and gouda cheese egg croissant. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. Very nice way to end our trip in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And as you can probably tell right here, we really enjoyed our breakfast. If you are still with us, you are a total rock star and I appreciate you very much. If you want to see more videos like this one, including Hilton Head and where we dined over there, click on one of the playlists that I'm leaving right here for you. Just click on it. It'll take you right there. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. I hope you have a fabulous time in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Be good to yourself. Be kind to others, including your servers. Safe travels to you.